the VLOOKUP function, or the vertical function, is just a function that will find an item in a larger table and then pull in a related field from that row. The best way to understand this is through an example. So I'm going to show you an example here. Say we have, um, we want to find the grades to a couple of these students. We want, here's the students and we want to find their, their grade. We have this larger table of all the students, what class they took, and what grade they have. To find, we, I mean, we could say we want to find Tim's grade. We could go in here, we could search down, oh, there's Tim, he got a 93, and then we can manually put it in. The VLOOK function will do that for us. So if we put our cursor over in B2, we're going to insert a function, and we're going to put VLOOKUP. And here, we're going to fill out the wizard. First is the lookup array, lookup value. And that is going to be this field here, this A2, because we're going to look up Tim. We could just type in the word Tim, but then we, we want to copy this down to these other names, so it's better to put, up, put the, the reference in there. The table array is this table here of what we're looking in. So I'm going to highlight, I highlight the whole column right from E to G instead of going like this because if you did it like this you would need to put the dollar signs in there to go from E1 to G14 now this will still work for the first one but when you copy this down if you don't put the dollar signs in the next cell this will become E2 to G15 and then E3 to G16 and you don't want that that so to save a step from having to put in the dollar signs I just put the whole column in there what you want to make sure one thing to, to remember is the leftmost column on this table array has to contain the item that we're looking for. So in this case, we're looking for Tim. So this left, leftmost column has to contain the word Tim in here. Column index. This is where we get to pick which column we want to pull in. So in this table, student name is column 1, class is column 2, and grade is column 3. Since we want to pull in the grade, we're going to put a 3 in there because we want the third column in this table array. And range lookup, here's the two different types of VLOOKUPs we can do. You could put false or true. False would mean that you want, to, you want an exact match to exactly find the word Tim. So we're going to put false. I'm going to show an example with using true uh, coming up, but first we'll, we'll just do an exact match. See now we look, equals 93, we click OK. So now it's 93. What VLOOKUP does, it starts here at the top, it goes down, it finds Tim, there, 93, and it matches right here. Now if we copy this down, we can just drag it down from the lower right. Next one is Joe, 94, we're scrolling down, scrolling down, here's Joe. If you keep looking though, you see down here there's another Joe, there's two of them. VLOOKUP just takes the first one, the first one it finds, and then it counts over one, two, three columns there and we've got our 94 and the last one Shelly it's gonna scroll down go down go down there there's Shelly it's a 95 and that's how the VLOOKUP that's just a simple example of a VLOOKUP with an exact match now we're gonna go over a second example of the VLOOKUP this one with uh, not an exact match so let's say we have these students here here's the students names this is their grade and we want to know what, what their letter grade is. We're going to look in this table. This table is the letter grade table, which tells us like a score of 0 to 64 is an F, 65 to 69 is a D, and so on, up to 90 to 100 is an A. For this to work, though, we're going to, you need this to be a sorted ascending, so from, from the lowest up to the highest. And then we can do a VLOOKUP, and then we don't have to have an exact match. Like, see, we see this 88. It's not going to be an exact match in this column. There's no 88. So if we put true in the last part, which I'm going to show you in a second, it's going to try to find in this range. So we want it to pull in the, the letter B because it's an 80 to 89. So let's do that. Do the V lookup. So the lookup value is still or is the, is the grade. We want to look up the grade in the table. 
the table array is this whole table. We want to make sure the left column is what we're, we're going to be looking in. The column index, we're going to put three because we want to pull one, two, three, which is the letter grade. And the range lookup. Now, since we don't want an exact match, since we want to 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 find that it'll what if it it'll still look for an exact match, but if it doesn't find an exact match, it'll find the closest one below it. So we're going to put true, or we could just leave it blank because it defaults to true. But I'll just put true for this example. Click OK and see we get the we get the result of a B. So what it's doing, it's looking for the number eighty eight. It doesn't find it. Doesn't find it. So what's the the next highest number below eighty eight? Pretty much ninety is above it, so that doesn't count. So the next highest number is an eighty. So I'm going to take eighty, and this is what it finds. It goes to column three, and it's a B. So if we copy this over, copy this all the way down, there, a 67 would fall into here, this range, and it's a D. An 84 would also fall into the 80 to 89, that's a B. And a 94 would go into the 90 to 100, and that's an A. So that's uh, an example of a, a not exact match for VLOOKUP. And now I want to go over three of the common types of errors that you get with VLOOKUP and how to fix them. So here's the, here's the first one. So we've got these students. We want to find the grade in this main table, just like we did in the first example. So we're going to insert a function, do VLOOKUP. We're, we're looking up this student name, this table array, just like we did before. Count three. We'll do false because we want an exact match. And it's okay. it works here. We copy it down, and we get pound na. What that means that what that error is, we're looking up the student Tony. If we look in here, Tony is not in here, so that it's going to give us an error. Excel is going to look all the way down the down here, not find anything, and since it doesn't find anything, there's nothing it can pull, so it gives you an error. So that's why we get the pound na. That's one of the common errors. The second type of error is just the setting up of the formula. Say we insert the function, we're doing the exact same way. If you look up, we're looking up this student in this array, but say we put column five. Sometimes, sometimes there could be extra columns in here that you want to pull, but your table only goes to a certain length. And we put false, click OK, and we get this error, this pound REF. What that's doing is showing you the error that it's only looking in the table E to G, E, F, G. However, we're trying to pull the fifth column. So column one, two, three, four, five. Column I doesn't fall within the table, so it's going to give us an error. You can only, if the, you only use this range of E to G, you can only do put a number one, a two, or a three. It can only pull one of those three. Otherwise, if you do higher than that, it's going to give you a pound REF error. And the third error, common error that I want to show you is just kind of with the formatting of the names. Let's say we're looking up Tim in here. Same, same type of uh, what we've been doing, we're looking up Tim, table array, E to G, column index three, we put false, and it comes up pound NA. So it, you're thinking, okay, it's not in the table, so let me look. Uh, oh, there is Tim, but why is it not pulling it in? Sometimes there's problems with, with the name. There could be spaces or be slightly different. If we look, here's the Tim that we're looking up. If you put your cursor right up here in the status bar, you see you go all the way to the left, it's T-I-M, and that's where it ends. You keep I'm arrowing to the right, and it's not doing anything. So it's only three characters, T-I-M. If you look on this one, if you go over here, I go all the way to the left, there's a space, then T-I-M. I, and this could happen sometimes when you import names or numbers from another file. These strange spaces can get in there. So that's why it's not going to work. 
if it's just one item like this in a, in a table, you can change it yourself. You can just go in and delete the space. However, if you have a lot, you can use this function. It's called trim. And what trim's going to do, it's going to get rid of all, it's going to remove all spaces from a text except the single space that you're supposed to have in between words. So we got Tim here. We click OK. So now I can copy this all the way down, copy this all the way up. Now if I'm going to copy this right over it, I'm doing Control C. I'm going up here, I'm going to paste special, and I'm going to paste special the values. That means it's just going to show, like see here it says Jenny, but here it shows the formula. So now we don't need this anymore. And if you look, we've got Tim. And there's only three characters, and it's Tim. It matches to here, and now we pull it, pull the 93. So that's how to correct correct that type of error. Those are the three most common type of errors. There are other ones, but those are the three most types that you'll see. And so this concludes the VLOOKUP training. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, just uh, please let me know. Thanks.